Welcome to this Hayati Pro Ultra review. In this video, we're taking a look at if this product is legit or if it is just another scam. Now, as you can see, I'm on their official website and one great thing is already that we see their social media channels. That is something that we don't see on many scam websites. So therefore that makes it a little more legit and more trustful. And also when we want to go to get in touch, we see, um, yeah, they have, a, they have a contact form. You can write them an email. However, that's the only way to actually um, contact them. Then we also have an email and WhatsApp phone number for the customer service. And that is really awesome. And they even basically uh, show which address, they're, basically their address, manufacturing address, and also the uh, company behind this. So this makes it already very legit. Now, when we want to take a look at external reviews, we see that, for example, on Trustpilot, this website has zero reviews, which is a bit of a red flag because we don't know yeah, why there are no reviews. Is this website new? Is this not popular? W what's going on here? Now, one thing I want to show you here. Okay, yeah, this is just a review. However, I'm not too sure if we can actually uh, take this information and really um, use it as a le as legitimate information. What we can use in our research is, however, this Reddit post. Now, this guy says, um, if someone has used it before, and this guy answered, I've been vaping those Hayati Pro Ultra 50,000 rechargeable disposables for a couple of months. You buy them online through various vape stores, but they're illegal, even though packed, extremely legit. My sinuses are burning. I can't breathe properly. I feel almost like I did before I was hospitalized with COVID. So you can see, can't sleep, muscle aches, etc., etc. This guy says he has had really, really bad experiences. Um, and yeah, therefore, this is already pretty concerning. So what can we say about this? Now, I personally cannot really give you any recommendation on this. Obviously, um, you should not buy these products. They're bad for you. So that's only what I can say about this. However, if you want to take on the risk, you can, yeah, I guess give it a try. But that's all of the information I can provide you with as of right now. And that's about this Hayati Pro Ultra review. If this video was helpful, make sure to like the video and thank you for watching.